Hey everyone and welcome to a guide for Kingdom 2 Crowns. This time we're going to be looking at how to get the Curse Crown in the Plague Island Challenge. So let's get started. Curse Crowns were added to the Challenge Islands in the November 2020 update, adding an extra difficulty beyond the Gold Crown. The Plague Island Curse Crown is objectively quite simple. You have to survive 60 nights. If you've got the Gold Crown already, then you'll have survived 40 nights and should be fairly well set up to continue. If you don't have the gold crown yet, then it's worth checking out my other video on Plague Island, which covers the main mechanics of the challenge, as I'll just be focusing on the additional steps to get the cursed crown here. There'll be two additional blood moons that you'll have to deal with over these 20 extra nights, but if you're well set up with fully upgraded walls, catapults, plenty of archers, archery towers in good positions, and maybe some pikemen, then these waves shouldn't pose much of a threat, and you'll just want to remember to buy fire barrels to help deal with armoured breeders. The main concern for these extra days is that you'll have to face winter, which starts around day 49 and may dramatically reduce your income. To deal with this, make sure you've deposited coins with the banker over the course of the challenge so he's earning interest and has a stockpile that you can access in emergencies. You can also get a regular income in winter from pikemen who will continue to fish throughout the day and farmers if you're lucky and have some berry bushes spawn near your outer walls. Breeders are still a bit buggy in this challenge, which can mess things up for you. I loaded into a save where I'd just got the gold crown when going for the cursed crown and had some quick moving breeders on one side of the kingdom, which made things a bit tricky, but after a few nights they reverted to their slower speed and the sunrise would kill them before they could reach my walls. So there's definitely a bit of luck involved, and if you're encountering fast breeders, maybe try saving and reloading. I did that a couple of times when I had this issue, and it may have helped, but I can't be certain. Beyond this, there's no extra mechanics or objectives that you need to hit, so just focus on surviving. I had my outer walls broken on a couple of occasions during the blood moons, but I had additional walls close to my outer walls as a backup and plenty of coins deposited with the banker, so once the greed were cleared by the sunrise it wasn't much of an issue to rebuild walls and recruit all the vagrants back before the next greed attack. One last thing to remember is to keep recruiting at least a couple of vagrants from camps each day so you've got as many archers as possible. That's everything for this time, if you're looking for more tips and guides then check out some of my other videos, but until then Good luck getting the cursed crown, and I'll see you next time.